The funny thing, isn't it, when you come to London now, I've told you before that, you know, the hotels are incredibly expensive. And, you know, they're saying, oh, it's Brexit and it's the cost of living. The rooms are the same. And I don't know about you, but when you check into a hotel now, have you noticed how they give you less and less? Do you remember when there used to be a soap bar on the sink and one in the shower? Now you've got to risk life and limb climbing out to get the soap if you forget it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, oh, of course, you know, we're on the same page here. But of course, it must be very embarrassing if you are the former royals known as Harry and Meghan, because there you are now, basically having to uh, give back that cottage that apparently Oprah Winfrey couldn't believe you were living in, Frogmore Cottage. This is after, apparently, you've done it up yourself to the tune of a couple of million. And now the only place you can stay, which is under current refurbishment, for the next eight, nine years at least, is one of the epicenters of the world, Buckingham Palace. Apparently Meghan Markle doesn't like this, but she has a plan. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, how are you? Yes, nice to see you, lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep, I know, a bit more. Come on, put a bit of effort in. I know, I know it's the middle of winter, but come on, don't slack, don't let the side down. Sit up straight when I'm talking to you. I know, dropping off. How dare you? <laughs> We could all do it though, can't we? You know, those afternoons when they creep up at four o'clock and it's dark and you think, I'll just close my eyes five minutes. Suddenly, 25 minutes later, somebody wakes you up and you're like Jonesy from Dad's Army, aren't you? Where? Oh, what? What? <laughs> they don't like it up. And you know that phrase, don't you? Now, back as ever to your royal story of the day. Fascinating this when you think about it, because some people might say, well, look, just be grateful you've been offered somewhere to stay as and when, if ever, you come back to the United Kingdom and this is the problem of course because Harry's basically claiming that he doesn't want to come back because he doesn't feel secure you know but they feel secure enough to wander around don't they in the Invictus Games uh, with their security team and she felt secure enough to wind down the window at the Platinum Jubilee to make sure we all saw her in that car you understand how this pictures out now but you see when they had to relinquish back Frogmore Cottage because allegedly uh, the disgraced royal Prince Andrew was going to be moving in well as I told you a couple of days ago months down the line not happening nowhere near moving in yet and we told you the reasons why here's where it now gets even more interesting though because Harry and Meghan fancy the idea think of this as a little bit like a royal Airbnb now if you don't know what Airbnb is because you know we're not all across everything the bottom line is Airbnb is a very risky thing I think where you loan out your house to complete strangers who pay you some money and you leave a key for them to stay in I know Gosh, if I did that, I'd expect them to clean up, wouldn't you? Or am I just stay? But that's what Airbnb is. And this, some people might suggest, is an idea that Harry and Meghan are going down because they'd like to rent, yes, rent an apartment at, at Kensington Palace. They know there's quite a bit of space there with the Grace and Favour apartments, etc. To speed up this story, I'll tell you where it's going. It's quite simple. William and Catherine have the final say now on the people that are allowed to stay in and around Kingston Palace. No way that's going to be happening, you know, absolutely no way, because of course the Prince and Princess of Wales use that as a main base for themselves when they are in central London for their charitable events and functions and meetings, all of that sort of stuff. But you have to give Harry and Meghan the, well, whatever you want to call it, but the chances of trying. Because obviously, this was a place originally where Meghan Markle didn't want to live in with her children because she wanted somewhere quiet, out of the way of the glaring paparazzi that no doubt's on speed dial somewhere. Right, Meghan? Now, of course, a few years down the line, realising that she doesn't fancy living in the rubble of Buckingham Palace, or indeed, you know, no chance now of returning back to Frogmore, well, Kensington might do. Guess who made the offer? Never Meghan, Harry. Guess who got rejected, allegedly? They were shown in the very heart of London.